Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Polygon Edge in the Settlement BPass platform. Polygon Edge is a new framework developed by Polygon Labs, which also created the Polygon POS sidechain for Ethereum. In order to create what are called app chains or application specific blockchains that have still high performance. So in Polygon Edge, we call these things Polygon Supernets. And there are a lot of really cool features. So we can see that Polygon Edge allows you to bring your Ethereum smart contracts or assets onto your own app specific chain. Uh, it also enables you to use the same types of standards that we use to interact with these different uh, blockchains. It allows you to use Solidity or Viper, which are the two of the most common languages to develop applications on EVM blockchains. It enables lots of different tooling, of course, that are already available to you. And it allows you to streamline lots of different UX for users when performing cross-chain operations. But let's check to see how exactly does this happen. It does this because when you create a uh, super nets or an app specific chain, you also create a bridge that is very easily connectable to the uh, POS main chain, Polygon POS. Um, and so by using the Polygon Edge framework, you're able to easily do cross chain communication between your super nets and the Polygon POS chain, which is then very easily able to bridge with the Ethereum mainnet. So it's a way of kind of being able to create your own app specific chain while still being connectable to the greater Ethereum ecosystem, specifically through Polygon. Um, and what's really cool is that in settlements, we have all the tools that you need to be able to begin building on Polygon Edge. We have a relationship with them, a partnership in which we are able to provide a lot of the features and tooling that you would need to make your own Polygon supernet that's specific to your application, whether that be an enterprise application specifically or something else. Um, and what's also great, of course, is that the Polygon ecosystem that you would be plugging into is already quite large and very diverse. There's lots of different applications that then, if you wanted to, you could potentially combine with if you connect your supernets with the Polygon POS chain. Um, and the uh, bridging makes it very easy to do cross-chain interactions if you want to do that as well. So there you have it. Let's take a look at how we do that on the platform. All right, so I'm here on the Settlement BPass platform. The first thing that I want to do to start a Polygon Edge network is I want to go here to blockchain networks in my dashboard. And so here I'm going to go and click add a blockchain network on the top right. So I'll go, I'll go over to Polygon Edge, which is a permissioned network. And I'm going to confirm that. And then we're going to give it an, a name. So let's just say this is going to be Edge. We already need to have at least one validating node in order to be operational. So we're just gonna say it's a node. And then we would choose the deployment plan. We want a shared one, say Google Cloud in Brussels, and we would give a resource pack. We can then, of course, uh, customize any other configurations that maybe we want that we want specifically for our supernets or our app chain to be fitting for whatever the use case that we are pursuing. Um, so then we would click confirm. Um, luckily, of course, I have already created one, so we can check it out. We can check it out through the um, through here and see the tabs and information about it. We can see that it's a Polygon Edge uh, network. We can see down here um, that we have nodes here in Europe, uh, and we can have all this information that we need to know about our blockchain. If we go here to participants, since Polygon Edge is permissioned, we can add and invite organizations to be a part of our supernet. So we can directly add them if they uh, are there, or we can invite an organization through an email. And we can also give them the permissions of whether or not they can create more nodes for the network, or if they can add other organizations as well. And then we have our deployment logs in case we need to do any troubleshooting. And then if we want to create a node for Polygon Edge, say we need another one, so we have here a validator already running, but we would go to add a blockchain node. We would click the network that we want, Polygon Edge. We would give it a name, say node two. And then we would choose if we want a validating or non-validating node. A non-validating uh, node is one that does not take part in the consensus mechanism of Polygon Edge. So the Polygon um, framework, Polygon Edge framework lets you choose uh, what types of permission 
somebody can have as far as a consensus goes. Um, so we can do validating or non-validating, and then we would choose our deployment plan. We would just click through, and then we would click confirm. Um, but since I have this node already running, let's open it up and check it out. We can see all, all the information that we need about this node. So we can see uh, how it identifies itself. So we can check its private key, et cetera. We can have the JSON RPC NWS uh, endpoint so that we can connect it to a front end, or we can connect to make transactions or requests. So here we can see how many requests are going on. We can go to JSON RPC, and here we can configure the method that we want to request so we can get information directly uh, in the uh, dashboard here, right? Uh, if we wanted to, we can see the resources that it's using up. So we can always scale in case we're using too much. And then we have our logs and our deployment logs. So we can see in case we need to do any troubleshooting. So there you have it. It's that easy. It's that fast in order to already begin um, working with and um, building on Polygon Edge, thanks to Settlement B-Pass platform. So there you have it.